Hi, my name is Seth Alvo and I've been working in the field of car audio and mobile electronics for over eight years. I've installed everything from navigation systems to full car stereo systems, remote starters, alarms, and beyond. To learn more, visit our website at www.movingon.com. If your car radio is starting to sound staticky, you might be a candidate for a new antenna. Usually, if you need a new antenna, the first thing that's going to happen is your AM stations are going to start to go bad. AM is the weakest link, and that's the first thing that's going to go. If your FM is coming in, but your AM isn't, then most likely you need a new antenna. Depending on what type of car you have, it may be easy to replace your antenna, or it may be extremely difficult. Newer, especially high-end cars and European cars, have amplified antennas that are built into the roof underneath the headliner. These are typically proprietary and will need to be purchased from the dealer. If you have an older car or a more basic car, then changing your antenna may be easy. You can buy an antenna for about $15 and installing it will usually cost you between $50 and $75. If you have a power antenna, this is also going to be a little bit more expensive, but typically it can be done at a car stereo shop for between $100 and $150. The antenna has to be mounted properly, the wire has to be in good form, and it has to be grounded the right way. These are all things that contribute to the antenna's reception. So simply replacing the antenna sometimes isn't enough to make the antenna work properly. You could also need a new tuner inside of your car stereo, but because tuners are so expensive to replace, you're better off changing the antenna first just to make sure.